kwenye muktadha huu alikuwa ni mtu wa tofauti sana lakini jana basi ameweza kuzungumza naye eh, kupitia uh, hafla ile iliyofanyika kule na amesema mimi bado ni jicho pevu lakini uhuru eh, aliua watoto wetu alitupa riva yala na sasa hii eh, ametumia milioni mbili na hamsini kwa maandamano halafu wamepeana milioni tano tu kwa familia za watu wakufa kwenye maandamano hii ni nini hii ni nini hii Muhammad Ali anahoji na anazungumza hivyo kumbuka huyu ni mwandishi wa habari na uandishi wake alibezi sana kwenye investigative journalism au investigative journalist sasa alikuwa na chimba zile habari za za ndani sana sana na habari zile ambazo zina kujificha kuli kweli. Sasa yeye anaziweza sana hizo habari. Lakini hapa jana amezungumza na kwambia mimi bado ni jichopeo. Hebu karibu kumtazama eh, anapozungumza hapa Mohamed Ali. Alafu tutarejea. Uh, your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, all protocols observed, and the good people of Meritini, Hamujambo. Uh, mimi naitua Muhammad Ali, ninatokea sehemu ya nyali, na nataka ni mpongeze rais, kwa sababu tangu Kenya kupata uhuru since 1963, wamekua wakitua chanyuma in terms of development. You are excellent, uh, the President the port of Mombasa is our only source of income, port and tourism. But since you took over, everything now is changing. You are opening up the coast region for the people of the coast to be able to benefit. We thank you very much. Nikimalizia, vile ambavo waziri amesema, ni kweli kabisa. Hatuwezi jenga Kenya na watu wengine wanabomoa kwa mlango wa nyuma. Jana Your Excellency mimi siangaliagi TV sana. Iko na propaganda mingi. Lakini jana nilitazama nikaangalia kidogo. Nikaona wale wangwana wa handshake, wale watu ya kusalimiana wameenda pale kuweka maua na wakatoa shilingi milioni tano kwa watu ambao walipoteza maisha yao kutokana na wao wenyewe kuitisha maandamano. Mimi nataka ni muambie uhuru muigai Kenyata na Raila Odinga wakati wa handshake watoto wetu waliuawa kupitia serikali yenu ya udhalimu hapa Mombasa watoto wengi waliuawa pale Malindi watoto wengi waliuawa Lamu ukanda mzima wa pwani watoto walichukuliwa na kuuawa ukienda Mandera Garissa na sehemu zingine watoto waliuawa wale watoto waliouawa katika hatamu yako ya wewe kuwa rais huko na kuwatupa katika river yala hao pia tunawahesabu tafadhali chukueni maua muende katika kila kona ambayo mumeweza kuhakikisha mlipoteza hao watoto katika uongozi wenu na sisi hatutakubaliana na kauli mbiu hiyo yenu kwa sababu your excellency aliyekuwa rais aliyekuwa prime minister aliyekuwa vice president eti wanachanga shilingi milioni tano kwa maafa ambao wao wenyewe wamesababisha wametumia shilingi milioni mbili na hamsini katika maandamano your excellency waswahili wanasema ngombe hazieki maini bado mimi ni jichopevu hiyo ndiyo pesa walitumia 250 million to cause chaos in nairobi and some other parts of this great country of ours today you are dancing on the graves of our children and we are not going to allow you to do that badi mheshimiwa please wachana na mawe hapa nimesikia ukiomba kazi ukisema vijana wapewe kazi ukianza kumsha mawe hii kazi itapatikana si tutaharibu so sisi tunataka kusema hatutakubali we will not allow anybody to sabotage this government your excellency tumetembea hii nchi kuunda inchi this country belongs to the hustlers we, and we are going to walk the talk to make sure that we will give the president his time to serve this country go round and listen to each and every one of us and do what is necessary as per the constitution of this country 
So your excellency, unajua mimi si mtu ya ofisi. Mimi ni mtu ya ground. Nadhani nikienda hapo nje ndio nitaongea vizuri zaidi. Asanteni sana. Ah. Hivyo ndivyo mambo yanazidi kwenda na mambo yamezidi ku eh? Kutaradad na hii ni chama